Hi, I'm Mike Applin, Senior Product Director for All Things Luxury here at Jayco RV. And I'd like to talk to you today about the all new 2022 Seismic 4113. We're not just going to talk about the 4113, we're going to talk about all things new Seismic for 2022. But this is starting off with one of our brand new three paint jobs that we offer for 2022 model year. This is actually called the Velocity Blue. One of the neat things about it is this is different than any other, floor, or any other paint job that anybody's ever seen before. And what I mean by that is, notice that it has the individual paint lines. This basically looks like a wrap, one of the big vinyl wraps. Instead of all the swooshes and I always call them the Nike swirl marks and things like that, we want to stay very linear with it, but something that's very new and very relevant. So uh, this is brand new for here. We also offer the Victory Red and we also have the metallic ice. So in years past, we only had two paint jobs. This year we offer three. And if you look at the, the actual paint scheme itself between the blues, the red pinstripes that'll be on there, the monochromatic, there is uh, not a truck out there that doesn't fit one of these three paint jobs. I mean, they absolutely go with every one of the paint jobs that Ford, Dodge, and Chevy or GMC offer in their new truck line. So wanted to talk about that first. We also did a video on the brand new Seismic, the new two axle mid luxury price point, and it has the graphics package on it. Well, the cool thing is, is for lack of a better term, little brother, big brother, uh, have exactly the same new graphics scheme for this year. So from the painted front cap, which is all new, uh, the new graphics that are brand new, one and the same. So when they're on your dealership's lot, uh, you'll see the exact same graphics package, even in the mid entry level price, as well as super high end price in the new or in the Seismic. So that's what's new on the exterior for this year. I do want to go through and show you some things. This is our 4113. This is our number one seller. It's a patented floor plan. Yes, you heard that right. It's actually patented. You never see a floor plan get a US patent. The 4113 actually does. So I want to start here, do some key features on the outside, things that'll set it apart from other manufacturers and something that will help you uh, put some more money in your pocket. So starting off with just uh, the front pass-through storage. Obviously, we have the magnetic catches. We have the uh, TPO flooring right here, the same thing that you'd find in your garage. Consistent with other videos that we're putting together uh, of our luxury line, you notice the heat duct up here. So we run the 40,000 BTU furnace in all seismic uh, or big seismics, North Point's pinnacles. The 40,000 BTU allows to drop down heat into this area as well as where you have your water lines and your water pump. We also have the Astrofoil that we've talked about, which is consistent along from Eagle, uh, fifth wheels all the way up through the Luxury as well. Remember all that heat cold transfer that's coming right up into the bed bath area, very critical. Most manufacturers, they'll do nothing, okay? Or they may have just a raw OSB right there or a thin little layer of Polymax or Darko material. You, this is something that you can actually show a customer and if they do go shop you and go look around, somebody can say, yeah, we do that too, do you? So if they look up here, how many manufacturers don't do that? So that's one of the little secret sauces that we do as well. We also have the uh, central vacuum system. We have a motion sensor light, all standard on the, uh, on the seismic. So the other cool thing is all of your big seismics, North Point's pinnacles. Do you see this right here? We also have them on the inside of the coach. Those are called thermistors. So on the inside of the coach for your BM Pro smart system, that takes the place of a thermostat. Okay, so they're all Bluetooth, it's all thermo it's a thermistor, it's literally a thermostat that's that small now. We also put one on the outside of the coach. So now you could, I could go into the coach and I could tell you exactly what the outside temperature is before I ever step outside my coach, okay? The other cool thing about this floor plan, and one of the things that was allowed to get it a US patent was you have two pass-through storage areas because in the uh, living room kitchen transition area, it actually steps up and becomes more of a, of a split level home. So having the extra set of storage right here in a toiler is huge. Um, 40,000 BTU furnace that we talked about. Another thing that's a big feature on all of our luxuries, we've, talk, we've touched on it before in other videos, is if we have a half bath or a second full bath, we put black tank flushes on every bathroom. It's very common in this industry just to do it to the main bathroom. But what do you do to the half bath? If you don't have a black tank flush, you have to get a rod out, you have to stick it down in the toilet, you have to pro, uh, probe around and prod and whatnot. It's too much work. How about just put your uh, hose up to it, stick it on there, black tank flush, all bathrooms, okay? 
the step above, Moride step above. So you've probably heard the story where we were very uh, involved with the development with this Moride. Moride and Jayco have a great partnership. We've been around for many, many years together. In fact, if you look at their logo, the blue, it's pretty obvious when they did it in Jayco blue. So we're real happy about that. Great partnership. And you guys are all aware of the Moride steps, right? So we bring them up. We have the strut assist, right, where it just kind of sits there and levitates up. It also helps with the assist. You can see how easy, I mean, I literally can do it with one finger. Well, the first design of these steps did not have that zero gravity to it. So very heavy, very bulky. I mean, worst case scenario, a customer's up there, slips out of their hand, comes down, hits them in the head, not good, right? So we actually went to our R&D. We, uh, we have a 10,000 square foot R&D facility. We staff over eight full-time employees there. That's all they do is test, test, test. We mocked it up uh, and uh, we came back and said, hey, what about, uh, what about that strut assist? What about the zero gravity? They started working on it and we helped develop that with Moride for the industry. So very critical. It's a great story to tell your customers um, because when we do develop something, uh, we actually R&D. We don't R&C, which is research and copy. Um, the 4113 has a side patio. I'm showing it in the up position so that you can see the paint job on it whatnot. We all know on a side patio. One of the common questions a lot of people have is they, uh, they may say, well, I can't use that at my campsite because it's going to intrude too much on the campsite. Well, I always ask them a question. Can you put your awning out? I would say 100 out of 100, they say yes. Well, guess what? The awning actually uh, extract, or extends out further than what this ramp patio does. So that it actually covers the whole thing. And this gives you a side extension to your living room area, increasing the square footage without actually counting against the square footage itself. So new for this year, even though this is a painted unit, you're gonna see this be uh, color matched paint down here as well. Um, you can see on here, the black springs, this in years past would have been a brushed nickel look. So we went ahead and we incorporated that in it's gonna be painted for uh, 2022. We have triple axles. Uh, we have one floor plan, the 3512. Uh, we have the 3815 and we have the 4113 for 2022 in the big seismic. One of the big changes that I wanted to talk about is in years past, the 3512 and the 3815 both had a side aisle bath, but it had two entryways to it. So we did a, an ABS plastic radius shower. For 2022, it's going to have a walk-in shower in it. And what, uh, what's really cool about the walk-in shower, remember four years ago, uh, Jayco actually invented the walk-in shower for the RV industry. Uh, we were the first manufacturer to ever do it. There are other manufacturers that are starting to finally do it, finally. Um, and we'll talk about that more when we get on the inside. But the 3512 and the 3815 both have walk-in showers. That's the big improvement. We also went to four-seater sofas in place of the three-seater sofas in that floor plan or those floor plans. So 3512, you have a 12 and a half foot garage. Typically in that floor plan, other manufacturers make it too. It's no secret, but traditionally you're going to see an 11 foot garage. That's a 12 and a half foot garage. In the 3815, you go to a 15 and a half foot garage. So that uh, same floor plan, same buyer, but if they have to have it because whatever toy they have, or maybe they have a four seater side by side, let's face it, those things keep getting larger and larger all the time. So same floor plan, same buyer, two different garages. And then the last floor plan is obviously the patented 4113, our number one seller. Um, moving into some of the other features that you need to know about and talk about is everybody likes talking about tires, but what do they really know about tires? They just think, wow, they're tires. Well. Statistically out there, you're gonna see foreign tires on there. They're not made in America, they're not USA. These are Goodyear tires, made in the United States of America. Um, we could have went with a G-rated tire. That's fantastic. The problem is every G-rated tire out there is made overseas. That's not part of the story we want. We want made in America. Number two, um, these are taller and wider than almost every G tire offered in the industry. So if that's such a great tire, why is this taller and wider? This also has a higher speed rating. It's an N, as in Nancy. 87 miles an hour. A lot of your other tires out there are gonna be 65, 68 miles an hour. Maybe they get up to 75 on a 19 and a half inch uh, H-rated tire. So being a being an E-rated tire with 80 PSI, the last thing on that is on the 80 PSI, a G-rated tire is 110. 
When you go to just a, a convenience store or something around the corner to fill up with air before you go on your trip, or if you get an emergency situation, 80 PSI. At 110, you have to go to a specialty truck, tri uh, truck and tire uh, store. You have to go to a truck stop. We didn't want that. So 4,080 pound weight rating. That's consistent for North Points, Pinnacles, Seismics, even the brand new two axle mid-luxury Seismic all run the Goodyear Beast tires. So one story all the time. The next thing is gonna be your CRE 3000. We've talked about it in some other videos. The CRE by Moride, that's gonna be a rubberized suspension. It gives you three inches of vertical travel. We also run Dexter axles. We also run half inch shackles instead of the little quarter inch shackles. Fully greasable, they have grease circs on them. So they have wet bolts, bronze bushings. Another thing is gonna be 4,000 pound springs. Typically, 3,500 pound springs are what you're going to find. We upgrade to the 4,000 pound springs, have for years. It's probably one of those things that we should talk about more and brag about. We just take the high road. We assume everybody should be using them. Well, not everybody does. We've been doing it for years. Some manufacturers have just started finally doing it. So that's part of our five-star handling package. Other thing is the level up system. So the six-point hydraulic system is going to be on all of your luxury fifth wheels, Seismic, Big Seismic, uh, North Points, Pinnacles. Uh, they're all going to have the sand pads at them. They all have true manual overrides. They work with your uh, uh, app on your phone. They work on to the side of your coach. We'll show you in your docking station. They're also on your BM Pro or your J Command, so on your smart coach as well. Okay. So just taking a look at this, frameless windows, standard. There's your ram air vents and whatnot. What we're going to do is we're just going to make our way around and we're going to talk about some other features on the outside of the coach. So standard is going to be your uh, observation or your backup camera prep, I should say. Uh, this actually has the cameras installed on it. It's an option. Otherwise, you'll have the wires back behind your lens and then you can actually install it at the dealership as an aftermarket if you didn't check the box and we build it from the factory. Other thing while we're here we're going to talk about is LED lights. Uh, this whole coach is LED lights inside, out, everything. Uh, what's neat about that is we actually have a patent pending called our uh, 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 safety marker and reverse travel. So we have J-Smart lighting. The J-Smart lighting is just a safety feature in the sense that every single one of these lights as you put on your, uh, your turn signal, right or left, if I put on my right, everything on this side is going to light up. So it's going to be at the top, it's going to be on the side, it's going to be on the side, it's going to be on the rear. So it's uh, 365 degrees of uh, driver intentionality. So what that simply means is it's safety. If I want to make a lane change or anything like that, I'm actually sending that message ahead of time to other people that are around me that, hey, I'm making a lane change. And you know what? To save a, to save a life, I mean, it's priceless. So standard equipment, we do it all the way from our entry level stuff, travel trailers, all the way up to uh, the highest of our fifth wheels and toy aulers. So another standard feature for Jayco. Part of that five-star handling package is going to be your RBP, your rubber pin box by Moride. I don't know if you can get in here and see this, uh, this rubber right here. So that's part of the absorption as you're driving down the road. So bucking and chucking and things like that, you know, we're trying to prevent all that shock from making its way into the trailer or up through the truck. So you'll get three inches of front to back, an inch and a half side to side uh, of travel on that. And I'll tell you what, there's others that make kingpins, but a lot of manufacturers don't even give you an aftermarket from the factory. Some may or may not have an option for it. We do it standard on everything we build uh, in the luxury line. <clears throat> up front is where your generator goes up there. Uh, we have room for four to six batteries, which once again is still industry leading. Most guys will give you room for one or two. You can take a peek in there. So. This is, uh, this is the area, so it comes standard with the generator. All of your toy haulers here in the luxuries come standard with them. So your seismic, your new seismic, entry level or mid-level, and your big seismic. We have your pump. We have your manual override over here for your six-point uh, hydraulic leveling. Places for the battery storage, like I said, four to six batteries. And that's all standard equipment. Exhaust for the generator, two 30-pound LP bottles. So on the off-door side, there's some pretty neat things to look in here. So first we've got the uh, patent pinning on the freshwater drinking station right there. So obviously 
It's a plastic jug, something you could find at Culligan or a grocery store or refill there. You can have multiples of that. There's a freshwater uh, spigot that's gonna be at your sink. And as well as if you have the residential refrigerator, uh, you can also run it in there as well. Um, I wanted to talk about for this model year, what standard is gonna be a 17 cubic foot, uh, 12 volt refrigerator is gonna be standard in the big seismic. You'll then option into the, uh, the 18 cubic foot uh, gas electric, the Norcold. And we'll also have an option that's uh, not gonna be on the price sheet, but it will be available, which is gonna be the uh, Whirlpool or the 21 cubic foot with ice, water, and digital display. So in theory, you're gonna see two on the price sheet. There'll be a third one that will be available. Uh, we don't think that that may be as popular, so it's just not gonna be on the price sheet, but it will be available. And uh, let's say, for example, a customer had to have the residential, it will be available, it just will not show up on the price sheets, okay? Just make sure we make a note of that. Over here, you have your water station right here. Notice it has the uh, auto level for the six point. There's the third place that you can actually extend, retract, or uh, do your auto level from. Uh, this also has the hitch memory, uh, so it retains the height of your hitch. So when you're backing up and then you're gonna hook back up, you hit the button and it's gonna go ahead and remember what your previous hitch height was in your truck and then the leveling system will go back to that. That's new on this new system for 2022. Also, you can see the colors and shapes. What's really neat about that is if you know your colors and shapes, you can actually work our water station. It's that simple, okay? Everything's gonna be labeled right here. You're gonna have a pump switch. You got your cable satellite. Uh, notice the knife valves going right into the heated, insulated, and closed underbelly. And then all of your hoses will just come right up through here. And once you shut the door on it, remember we have that heat duct, so you're getting extra BTUs of heat down in this area because that's a water station, uh, water can freeze. We wanna make sure that we're circulating that hot air all the way through there. We also have a 12 gallon water heater right here. 12 ga gallon gas electric DSI. Here is your opposite pass through storage, part of that patent on the uh, 4113 to have the two pass through storages. Pretty cool, you don't see that typically in a toy hauler application. Two 30 gallon fuel cells right here. Don't know if this is unlocked or not, but it can show in here. So we've got our pump. We have our little right here to hook onto for a ground source right there, just to prevent any spark. And like I said, so the little seismic, the new seismic will be 130 gallon. Big Brother has the two 30 gallon tanks. Also has on this one right here, we have the SantaCon. Uh, we don't have a sticker on this one right here. Typically you'll see the sticker, but the SantaCon is gonna be your macerator uh, to do your uh, dumping of your tanks. It's all powered. It's gonna chew through everything and basically spit it out. It's a no fuss flush or no mess to your hands application. You don't have to have gloves on. You don't have to have a gravity fill. You don't have to bring an extra hose. It's all gonna be powered in there uh, as you go. 50 amp service, of course. Once again, because showing the paint job, I didn't have the ramp patio down, but standard equipment is gonna be your outside patio, your rear steps, your three season room, your happy jacks, your five five generator. So where these things are all optional in most manufacturers, standard equipment, everything we do in the toy hauler seismic and then the new seismic uh, mid luxury price. Right here, I like to always point out about these LED lights. Notice how high they are, okay? Typically, you are gonna see lights that are way down here. Well, I can tell you with the height of three quarter ton and one ton trucks, the hood is so high that it's very difficult to see when somebody's on their brakes. So when they're up high, somebody can actually see your intentions before it's too late. And I hate to say this, but the life you save might be your own or your children. So when you have these up here, very critical down here, we always say, not good. Cable satellite hook up here, 110 hook up here, LP quick connect. Also back here is we also have the option for the patented uh, tailgater camp kitchen. The tailgater camp kitchen actually swings all the way around here in transit, stays right here, 
We have part of this uh, steel right here that supports it. You unlock it, you open it up just like a car door. It swings around. You can either bring it 90 degrees to the coach, you can pivot and swing it right here. You got cable, satellite, 110. You also have an LP quick connect. So keep in mind inside of that tailgate or camp kitchen, uh, it's very difficult to have outside uh, kitchens on toy haulers. So inside of that camp kitchen, you have a refrigerator, a griddle, some extra uh, storage space and LED lighting. So that's an option. We have a patent on it. We're the only ones that can even offer it in the industry. And uh, like I said, it started here with the seismic. This is a part of the coach where, like I said, I like to start, I like to end, and I like to talk about it as much as possible is our two plus three warranty. So uh, you know as well as I do that literally everything in the industry has a mighty one year warranty when a three year structural. Well, the three year structural, what does that really entail? The one year warranty at 12 months and one day, it's done, you're over with. So with every Jayco, it's two full years, which means 365 days times two, and you have to put a dollar figure on it, guys. I mean, what is it worth to a customer? How much is that worth to you? How much are the other manufacturers saving by not giving you that second year warranty? I can tell you, I've done this for 24 years. If something happened to that roof, if it got so bad that it just had a water intrusion and it had to be completely ripped off and removed and, and repaired, it could be as high as $15,000 for a complete roof job. Well, I can tell you right now, that second year of warranty, there's 15 grand just in one thing that could go wrong with a coach. So with other brands, 12 months and one day, they're done with their customers. At Jayco, we have a full second year plus warrantied for full-time RV use. Everything down from an Eagle fifth wheel all the way up to our most expensive seismic or pinnacle and everything in between, warrantied for full-time RV use. First manufacturers in the industry to do it, only manufacturers to date to be able to do that and say that with uh, confidence. So let's go inside and let's take a quick look. So moving to the inside of the 4113 for the 2022 model year, we'll talk about the interior design. So modern farmhouse, nothing new. You know, um, Stacy Stewart was the one who started that almost four years ago, approximately with Jayco, uh, put the modern farmhouse look on the map. Now you're seeing most manufacturers, that's all they do. Keep in mind, we still have two interior designs and true interior designs. So what does that mean for the customer? So this is the modern farmhouse, but see the color countertops, the flooring, uh, all this different stuff, the furniture color. When you do the classic cottage, which is the same decor that's available in North Point or the all new seismic, uh, you know, two axle unit, it's all going to be the same. So I want to make sure that you understand that you just don't get one way for your customer. You have choice. So we have two ways to land them. We have modern farmhouse. We also have classic cottage. One of the things when we walk into the coach too, is we keep referring to this uh, BM Pro or the smart coach. So this is what it is. So when you first walk in, number one, you can see I can turn on the lights right there. I don't have to go around, turn on light switches and whatnot. You also can, uh, whatever you see on the screen is what mirrors and pairs to your phone. So we can talk about the app. So once you download the app, you also can tell that, see, this is awning one. I can extend it or retract it awning two, slide out one, slide out two, okay, and there's our pairing button. So once we get to the pair and we go ahead and get the app up and we can hold these buttons right here, the outside, we can pair it, then we can get it to our phone. So remember, redundant for the redundant, we'll have uh, regular switches, we'll have the smart coach, we'll have what we call BLE switches that we'll talk about here shortly. So many ways to operate your coach. If you look over here on the outside of the coach, we talked about that thermistor. So remember, these are the thermostats that all work through the BM Pro system. So those take the place of a regular uh, analog or digital, if you will, thermostat. Those are called thermistors, okay? The super sofa right here, um, in our si previous seismic, when we showed the new mid-luxury, we showed some tables that uh, clip down into the uh, cup holder. Those are gonna be standard equipment. They're underneath the bed on this one, but those are available. Uh, we also have the heat. Uh, we also have the massage. Um, notice there's no holes in the floor for a table to go through because once again, those cup holders, very similar to what you'd have in, a, in an airplane. They just fit down and they swivel back and forth. So if you wanna put your drink in there, fantastic. You wanna eat from there, fantastic. Um, we also have the flip down backrests. So both of these flip down. So if I'm sitting there and it's just two people and I wanna have additional cup holders, let's say for example, I wanna charge or have my computer plugged in, once again, I can do it on either side as well. 
So we started these uh, seven years ago in the seismic product. Uh, we've been doing it ever since. It's been a really nice feature for us. We also have the slow rise blackout shades. So pull down roller shades. We talked about the BLE switches in some previous videos. Each one of those um, are gonna be different depending on what zone. So you may have one in the living room, one in the kitchen. You may have one in the bedroom. Uh, depending on the floor plan where they're located, but basically all it is, it's BLE, which means Bluetooth Low Energy, and it works off of a, a, a watch battery. So I can actually pop this off the wall, replace the battery, but it's all task lighting orientated per zone. So for example, if I want to do my living room, uh, my ceiling lights from here, why in the world would you want to have to get up, go to your smart system, turn your lights on? Why would you want to pull your phone out and go to your app to turn the uh, lights on and off? So you can tell from here, I got cargo ceiling, I got the slide out ceiling, I got the accent lights, all this stuff is just at a touch, uh, touch of a button right there uh, throughout the coach. 50 inch 4K smart TV, uh, this has apps on it as well. So that's new for this year is a 4K smart TV. We also run the JBL, we started that last year with the JBL. So the min-max button, remember, this is how you adjust your subwoofer. Your subwoofer, depending on the floor plan, whether it be a pinnacle, north point, seismic, it could be buried behind the TV. It might be hard to uh, be accessible. So that is going to be how you adjust your subwoofer, and you can give that flexibility to the customer. So just want to make sure that you see it because it's going to be in different locations by product or floor plan, but adjustability of the subwoofer. Everything has the built-in fireplace, like we talked about the JBL stereo system, all standard equipment, a little bit of bonus overhead storage. Um, we went ahead and put the smoked out glass in there, just gives it a better look than just being uh, just kind of the boring wood look in there. So something to give it a little bit of its own identity uh, for the entertainment center, okay? Um, central vacuum system here, just like I said, standard in all of your big seismics, North Point's Pinnacles. Just like when we were in that 359 seismic, the new two axle, we talked about the uh, pantry to the side. We also, in this particular model, we also have a place to put uh, mops and brooms. You can see how it's cut out right here. You can stick it down in there and still have your handle all the way up here. So it's a good place to put brooms and mops and things like that. Another place over here for trash can. Like I said, trash cans and toilers are, you know, hard to find space for everything. We also have another spot over here. So let's say that's your trash and that's your recyclable. So in the 4113, we technically have two places for uh, trash cans. Another place for BLE switches. Once again, it wouldn't make any sense to walk down there to mess with the lights. I have ceiling lights. Here's your water pump, accent lights, ceiling lights. So like I said, as you go through each zone, those buttons are going to change. Remember this too. If I have my ceiling lights and I turn them off, if I want to turn them on and then push and hold, I can actually dim the lights in each zone. A lot of people don't realize that you can do that with the BLE switches. You can do it from your phone as well as you can do it from the BM Pro system itself. Okay. We talked about <clears throat> Stacy Stewart. Uh, a lot of times on the furniture, you're going to see the on the plastic on the footrest where it says Thomas Payne. Ours says Stacy Stewart. I don't know how many times in my 24 years or my seven plus years here at Jayco that people have asked, hey, you need a woman to design these things. And I say, you know, that's a great idea. I am so glad that we do. So Stacy Stewart has been with Jayco over 30 years. She owns a Jayco travel trailer. She camps all the time and she is responsible for this look, this feel. Uh, particularly this modern farmhouse that's been such a success. So once again, all kudos go to Stacy and uh, Ruby Sweat. That's her assistant and wonderful, wonderful people. 110 outlets, oversized window. Obviously, you can see the uh, extra 110 and USBs. We also have a convection microwave in here standard. A lot of people in the toy hauler world will just give you a 30-inch OTR. We give you a convection. Name brand insignia, name brand insignia. Turkey approved because it's 3.73 cubic foot. Another place for people to store dishes and pots and pans when they're going down the road. Four burner cooktop, all metal grates. We have a 12,000, a 9,000, 6,000, and a 3,500 BTU. What's important about that is at altitude, uh, boiling water becomes very difficult. 9,000 BTUs is about where the cutoff is. So we take it one step further, go to the 12,000. I can boil water at altitude 
really good idea, okay? Tons of storage, pots, pans. We got overhead storage everywhere. We have the built-in wine rack up here as well. This is all new stuff for the 2022 model year. So once again, all of this, it's up high. That's part of the lure of the 4113. It's a split level home. So everything sinks down here into the living room. The kitchen is elevated. You also can see when you're this much taller to the ceiling with an elevation, you're that much closer to reach all the cabinets. One of the downside of toy haulers is it's very difficult for people to reach up and get into the cabinets. In this floor plan, makes it a lot easier. Let's head up here. Another BLE switch. So guess what? Before I ever get to my slide out room, here's my slide extend retract. So I can walk up here. I can run my room in and out before I ever get up there. I got a hallway light. I got my ceiling lights all right here before I get into the actual room. Stepping into the master bathroom. Once again, the walk-in shower. Other manufacturers are doing that. Remember that, but remember when you tell your customer who was first. This happened four years ago in a seismic product. No other manufacturer had ever done this before. The success of this in the seismic led to us putting it into the Pinnacle product. And then we put it into the North Point last year. So the shower tower, the Pinnacle and the Seismic have it both this year. We have the little corner shelf for shampoo and soaps. We have the teak seat with a 300 plus pound rating. And we have the solid glass doors. We also incorporated the new oversized vestibule and high rise faucet, backlit mirror. We have the uh, fan. We've got tons of storage in here. I mean, look at the amount of storage. It's insane. Great location for the toilet paper holder. And then you can see the location of the toilet once again. Thought goes into this. We want to make sure that we have enough room here. It's not, you know, hitting knees on stuff. So definitely, definitely well thought out. We have a nice pocket door here. Places for your towels. And then moving up into the master suite, we have a king size bed. Uh, that's an option in here. We also do the front windshield. What's so cool about that front windshield is you literally never see it in the toy hauler world. You may see it in conventional fifth wheels. Well, yes, we do it in North Point. Yes, we do it in Pinnacle floor plans, certain ones. Standard equipment, 3512, 3815, and 4113. That is a separator right there. If everything else was equal with your buyer, that could just be the single thing that bumps them over the edge. So I want to make sure that you really make a big deal about it. Uh, standard 32-inch TV up here. Uh, we also have uh, power outlets. We have another BLE switch. Excuse me, that's a 39-inch TV. Um, we also have power outlets over to the corner, extra USBs. We have doors and drawers. And then new for this year, what we're doing in North Point Pinnacle and Big Seismic is the quilted bedspread. Last thing up here is two things. We have, notice there's no air conditioner once again okay you do not see it why dual whisper quiet air so we have two fifteen thousand acs uh the third one is optional in the garage and yes remember all big seismics all north points all pinnacles you can run all three acs at the same time when plugged into 50 amp service turn the first one on let it amp up turn your second one let it amp up and then turn your third one and amp up lastly is right over here on the ceiling we have the uh, 4g wi-fi repeater that's standard equipment, fully wired, ready to go. Uh, all your customer has to do is get a data plan through AT&T or Verizon, take the SIM card that they provide, your data plan, put it in there, and now you have full cellular capabilities. Standard is the WineGuard 360 uh, antenna, so full digital antenna, standard equipment as well on all of the luxury products, okay? Lastly, lift up storage under the bed. I know this is nothing new. But I wanted to make sure that everybody knows it's on a strut, plywood base. Once again, remember, these are plywood floors, plywood roof. And then we'll make our way back into the garage. So making our way back into the garage, remember, this is a second living room, second bedroom. Okay, I don't even like to refer to it as a garage because look at the sleeping capabilities. We have a half bath right here. I have tons of customers that own 4113s. This is an in-law area. Uh, this is where the friends stay. I even have people that work on uh, different uh, types of jobs where they'll go in together, actually buy a big uh, 4113. This half back here is where one guy lives. The other half is where the other guy lives up front. Uh, they pay for it through their per diem, through their work. So 
think about the possibilities. It's not just for side by sides. I, you know, there's there's more motorcycles that have been sold in the since 1920 to current than there has been side by sides. So keep that in mind. There's a lot of people that think you have to have these big monster garages. Um, if you look at the stats and things like that, uh, there's been more probably 11 foot garages sold than any other size. So don't get caught up that it has to have a 15 and an 18 footer. Yes, we provide those as well. But this is a 12 and a half foot garage, more than enough for most every toy that a person would need, including most uh, four seater side by sides. Two inch floor. Remember, first and only manufacturer to run a two inch block foam vacuum bonded laminated floor. Now you've heard us talk about vacuum bonding and laminating before in the other videos. I'll say it again. We vacuum bond and laminate. Stronghold VBL is what it means. It's going to be inside of a vacuum bonder for 16 to 18 minutes with 144 tons of pressure, okay? Not only do we do that to our sidewalls and our end walls of our slide out rooms, this floor is done the exact same way. Where most manufacturers and toy haulers don't even insulate, if they do insulate, they may throw down some uh, spun glass insulation, maybe some hot dog foil on top of it. This is two inch block foam, first and only manufacturer to do it in the industry, and it's done just like our sidewalls. We have D-rings. Everybody has D-rings. But guess what? There's some people that say, oh, yo, you got to have 5,000 pound D-rings. Well, guess what? These are 5,000 pound D-rings. The only difference is we advertise them as 2,500. Uh, other videos I've talked about our R&D facility. In fact, I think I even mentioned it in this video. 10,000 square foot facility. We took these D-rings and we tested them and they're 5,000 pound D-rings. Unfortunately, we couldn't find a lag bolt strong enough to withstand our pull test. So during our pull test, we have to take these 5,000 pound D-rings and D-rate them to 2,500 pounds. So don't get it all twisted where somebody says, oh, they got 5,000 pound D-rings, so do we. But we actually did the testing on it. So wanted to make sure you knew that. The next thing was, this is our new styling of our Happy Jack. If you notice, uh, I've had people tell me that it looks like the back seat of a Mustang GT350. I think it's pretty darn similar myself. It's got a suede insert right here. You can see the bolstering right here. Uh, really cool. Looks just like a back seat of that Mustang, but yet when you're laying down flat, these bolsters come down so you don't have to worry about, you know, having any weird feeling when you're laying down on them. We also have the cup holders, which, you know, we brought, we are the first to do cup holders in the industry and toy haulers in these Happy Jacks. So another innovation that we brought forward. Um, Happy Jacks are standard. Three season removable garage wall with the sliding glass windows. Remember when I say removable, that's because this is a 12 and a half foot garage. We'll say that intrudes about six inches on the garage. You actually can remove these doors, bring your toy up in here, set the doors in there, and you can pick up an extra six inches of garage space. So keep that in mind with your customer. Uh, we also have uh, the ramp patio is going to be standard, as well as your, as you can tell on the floor, the rear entry steps are standard as well. So every one of those um, are standard equipment. And with our quick set patio system, it is the fastest in the industry. I can set it up and tear it down in about 10 seconds. Uh, there's nobody in the industry that can make that claim. So just wanted to make sure you talk about the ease and the speed of the ramp patio system. Last thing in here, we have an optional 32 inch TV. That's in here and uh, they'd option it in this coach. We also have overhead storage up here. We also have AC ducts in here. And then also remember you can option in the third 15,000 AC. All three can be run at the same time. Oversized windows, TPO flooring, so water and uh, oil and grease resistant. And like I said, this is a second living room, second bedroom. Lastly, we have the washer and dryer prep. We also have the built-in heat duct down there. And one more thing is we have the thermistor as well as the BLE switches, but we also have the bat wing. This started seven years ago in our Octane travel trailers, Octane SLs having backup camera prep. So we talked about having the backup camera as an option. We've always had it in the garage. Remember, it's always been a seismic thing to where you can put another observation camera here. You can watch your toys as they're going down the road when you're on your monitor to make sure one of your ratchet straps doesn't come loose. And uh, you can actually tell because you have room for another backup camera. That concludes today's walk around on the big seismic. For 2022, I wanted to talk about all the bells, the whistles, the industry first. 
If you have any other questions, if we missed anything, feel free to go to jaco.com or to reach out to your regional sales manager, and we'll be happy to let you know all the ins and outs of the new Seismic Toy Hauler. Thank you and have a great day.